Hi readers, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. In today's video, we will uh, scan for some stocks which we can invest basis of our super trend strategy. And we will also learn how do you find these stocks and then analyze it basis the setup what you have created for you, yourself on your uh, trading term. So without wasting further time, let's get to the job and let's try to find out stocks which can give us an entry this week so we're going to use a simple tool called as charting okay charting is a free software guys if you don't know you can just register on this and create your own scan so i've created a simple scan called a weekly super trend close and the super trend settings are about 14 and 2.5 so you can try with various settings so this is one setting which i found is a decent one so when i uh, just run this you'll be able to get the list of stocks which are crossing above the 14 and 12.5 super trend so what is 14 and 12.5 super trend let's try to put this thing on a chart so as you can see this is a bharti etl chart so what i'll do is we'll use a weekly chart okay and weekly chart we'll put the studies as super trend 14 and 2 okay so here i'm going to edit this 14 and 2 to 14 2.5 okay so here this is how it is going to look and uh, your bullish entry is uh, when the super trend is becoming green and your stop loss will be this super super trend line so now we have got these number of stocks which is mahindra and mahindra the first one so let's try uh, let's save this view save this view as weekly and save it and now we are going to search for another stock which is called Mahindra Mahindra and Mahindra so let's see whether is it this satisfying our conditions or not so here you can see that it's yes it is giving an entry this is for the week of uh, 28th May and this whole week it has stayed positive and it's closed above the super trend so definitely it's given an entry to us so let's keep adding these stocks to our list and then we will analyze each one of them so one is let's remove this Mahindra MNM we have added now we are adding HDFC asset management. HDFC asset management. The third one is ICICI GI. Lumbar General Insurance. And then the fourth one is Bajaj Pinserv. Fifth one is an expensive stock which is Britannia 4000 and there is JK Cement. So let's keep our search only the stocks which are like below 2000 because this will be an expensive one for you to even buy more quantities. So even if you want me to analyze this, I will be able to, be able to do that. So let's, let me add Britannia. Okay, so let's start with MM. MNM, as we discussed, this is giving you an entry and there is a good volume. And if you want to see this monthly chart, monthly chart is like super bullish after this candle, which is April 1st, 2020, it started moving up and it's still continuing to go up. So it's a good stock for you to invest. And this is on a weekly time frame. Okay, so the super trend A will be your. 1189 will be your uh, stop loss if you are taking a trade at 1350 1180 will 118 below 1189 whatever is the low of this super trend that will be your stop loss so this is a low which is 1188 that will be a stop loss and minus this entry price minus this stop loss then that whatever is the risk capacity say 5000 is your risk capacity you divide that 5000 with the number of stop loss points you are getting so that will be your quantity 
okay now let's go to hdfc mc is this giving an entry no it is not giving an entry to us it is the candle has not closed above the super trend so this is a rejected stock so we can delete it now we have icici general icici general insurance is in a good downtrend okay so let's let's analyze a little bit more on this stock we'll try to put up a trend line put up the trend line from the top so we have to at least get two to three touches okay so i think this will be a good decent trend line and here we can see that uh, the trend line is broken at this level and the candle this week's candle is about this and you can also see the volume is pretty high so it's a good uh, entry point uh, but there are many resistance levels if i have to plot a 200 period moving average this will give me more clarity see this is your resistance very soon resistance which is close to this around 1300 so this can be a resistance because you can wait actually you can take 25 percent and wait for this to break above this and then continue your ride so this is for icic general now we have bajaj pincer now looking at this i think there is a share split happened so we won't be able to make any sense of this on a weekly chart we have to look at daily charts or maybe look at four or five hours charts so it's in a bullish trend but i don't see that satisfying my condition so i won't go for it i will go for britannia britannia is a very volatile stock you can see it touches the high and then comes back and closes at this and reverses from there so it is a very risky stock for you to invest so my pick will be m and m and icic general insurance which is uh, on a weekly time frame you have to invest 25 percent here and above 1311 if the candle is holding at this level then you can invest more or else m, &M is one clear thing i think even bharti we have seen has given as an entry here you can see bharti is giving you a fantastic entry on a weekly chart okay so this is already in a very good uptrend but uh, do not buy huge quantities at this level you should always wait wait for this breakout level to be tested again 860 so 860 will be your entry point so whenever it touches 860 again that will be your entry point and uh, wait for it it will come in uh, maybe coming weeks you can see one candle which can touch 860 and then start moving up any other stocks we have which we can analyze let's see westlife is also a good stock this is also above weekly super trend but you can see this was the day when you could have taken an entry above this high so generally if you don't want to use any kind of uh, uh indicators what you can do is you can just simply uh, disable all the indicators and go for the trend lines see here this is one trend line for you okay two touches one trend line and then it broke the trend line and from there it came back and now it is continuing in the trend so now once this violation happens what happens here your trend line has to change from there because it's already taken the high of this so this will become your new trend line so you have to wait if any retracement comes back to this level is your good buying point so same thing you can apply for uh, you know any stock say for example uh, let's look at m, &M. And I will disable the super trend here. <clears throat> Let's look at a uh, trend line from here. From the bottom. This was your trend line.
So this was the bottom and this was the trend line where we had maximum touches. Okay. So this trend line is broken. Whenever the price moves away from trend line is a symbol of caution that you have to uh, you know get ready to exit. Okay, so here it has violated trend line, but again it made a new high. So here we are going to change this to this level, and again it violated, and again it made a new high. So we change this to new level, and this becomes our new trend line. Okay. So here we have one touch, it made a new high, from there breakdown happened and now if it makes a new high, okay, when you have to take a short entry, you have to take a short entry when the scan closes below this and you have to ride in this direction and book maximum profit in this and again wait for a re-entry if it break this low. Now what will happen, it can go like this and then come back. And this neckline is very important for us. If this is broken, then we can say the trend is changing. This becomes like a uh, high, lower high, uh, sorry, high, lower low, then lower high, then lower low. It will come like that. So this trend is changed and this trend will start forming. So that way you can simply learn to do these things on a daily basis. So let's look at Nifty. Nifty, what is Nifty doing? Nifty also we can draw a trend line on a weekly time frame. So this is our trend line on Nifty. This is still in trend and it is coming back to the super trend. I am expecting this to break out and then go up to 18,900 uh, which is the previous level. So this is the previous high for us. So 18,899, 892. So I'm expecting this to break. Ignore this candle. There is some, you know, usually on the holidays, these charting softwares show a different uh, picture. So I'm expecting the market to go about this previous half by making a 19,000. So let's see what happens on Monday. And uh, you can use this simple kind of uh, uh, trend line technique to identify what is the trend of the market. Two touches, two to three touches are important. And uh, treat this trend line line as a zone, not as a line that price will, price will come and reverse at exactly at this point. It Most of the time it can go above, one candle can come there, there it can give you a breakdown. So it depends upon number of orders sitting at that level. So I hope you have understood this concept and uh, if you need any kind of uh, uh, support always you can comment and I am always there to reply to your comments and also I am planning to start a mentorship program where uh, I am going to be your mentor uh, for two to three hours uh, and uh, it will be one to one session. If you are interested I can take uh, weekend sessions with you and uh, try to help you to make you a better trader. That's it guys. Thank you for this uh, video and uh, I hope you like the videos and keep motivating me by your uh, likes and subscriptions. Thank you so much.